Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep, the creators of the free MCAT prep course. In this video, I want to briefly walk you through how to use MCAT Self Prep's study portal. The purpose of the study portal is to allow you to keep a list of unanswered questions that you want to come back to later on, or that you want to review with your MCAT tutor. It will also give you a place to keep track of what mistakes you are making, allowing you to look for patterns that you can correct. Now, let's start with downloading your study portal. To download your study portal, go to mcatselfprep.com. Complete your free registration for the e-course, then go to the lesson entitled, Assessing Your Results. After you do that, click on the link to download your study portal. Then upload it into Google Drive and click Open in Google Docs. Now, let's start with the first page. As you can read up at the top, according to MCAT Self Prep's Terms of Service, MCAT Self Prep is not responsible for the manner in which or to what extent a student shares copyrighted material. Different test prep companies have different rules and regulations regarding how MCAT test prep material is to be shared. Be sure to investigate this for yourself. The purpose of this first section of the study portal is to give you a place to insert questions that you just can't figure out. You've searched Wikipedia, Google, etc. and you just can't figure out why the answer is what it is. When this happens, insert your question here using the format described. And once you have a decent amount of questions in your portal, schedule your next tutoring session with one of our 99th percentile MCAT tutors. They will give you individualized, individualized help in solving these questions. The purpose of the next section is to provide you with a space where you can input information about questions that you answered incorrectly and also for questions that you want to come back to later after you have reviewed the material for that question. For instance, let's say you get a question wrong in the first AMC N scored practice exam. Let's say it was in the car section and it was question number 45. You will want to input these details so that you can come back to that question at a later date. Now, let's say that I got the question wrong because I didn't read the passage carefully enough but merely relied on my own knowledge. If this is the case, I would select number three according to this key at the top. Then I would input any notes that I want to remember when I come back to this question again later. Since I don't want to come back to this question again, I will just insert an X. Now, let's suppose that I didn't get this next question wrong, but I still want to come back to it once I cover that material. Simply follow the same format for the first four boxes, but then say, come back after learning about magnetism in this final box. Finally, to insert a new row in Google Docs, simply click on the table, go to the table menu, and click on insert row below. And that's it. Everything you need to know in order to use your study portal. Happy studying.